Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we got a, another uh, guess what's in the box video. This is a pretty large box. Uh, feels like it's got another box in it. So uh, let's do some measurements, go over it, uh, quickly talk about it, and we'll do the unboxing in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys there. What is up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and smush the bell notification icon for future updates. So this is going to be another quick guess what's in the box video. This is a pretty large box. Um, it feels like it's got another box in it. I believe this should be the replacement um, driver side headlight because the first head, uh, set, the, the two headlights I got the driver side didn't match the passenger side um, and then they ended up sending me because I, I contacted car parts um, that I got the items from and um, they, they for the inconvenience as well as um, other problems I've uh, got several uh, parts I've got a couple fenders that were partially damaged I got some I got the fender reinforcement uh, plate as well as the reinforcement bar they were partially damaged um, and they uh, told me that they were going to refund me 270 202 dollars was actually the FedEx shipping because none of the items they came in boxes that were like eight times their size um, and if not some of them were, were 10 15 times their size and there was no packaging in the boxes so the the items were basically able to bounce around in an empty box eight times bigger than them and that was how the damage occurred on most of the items um and they refunded me 270 and then they sent me a replacement headlight um which it's kind of hard to uh film this uh, this box is so big let me slide the box this way out make it easier all right so this box is 18 inches wide by 28 and a quarter inches long and this box is 13 and 5 eighths inches deep it does feel like there is a smaller box in here not a lot smaller a little bit smaller um, but it's just gonna be a quick video we will do an unboxing on it I I'm pretty sure this should be the the uh, the headlight it is from car parts came from Nevada just like the uh, the and the mix-up was I think what was odd is the two fog lights the two headlights and the two turn signals that I bought in a kit um, they all uh, all came from Nevada, but the driver's side headlight for some reason. Um, this one came from Nevada, just like the the passenger side headlight, the two fog lights, and the two turn signals. And I've had great success with items from car parts, and this set of headlights is is not going to be used. The brackets are going to be used, and I might. I might decide not to use the brackets. What I might do is I have the original headlights with the cracked glass um, in the shed outside um, that came off of the SR5 when I put the HID uh, set on, the HID conversion set that I had made. So what I'm thinking is I'm thinking I'm going to use the brackets from the original headlights because those brackets are a little bit more stout. Um, plastic in my opinion is a little bit stiffer and what I'm gonna do with these headlights for because I'm moving the HIDs that I have on the SR5 that got wrecked I'm moving those over so I'm gonna take the brackets off the old lights that are in in the shed in the front I'm gonna swap those brackets over to uh, replace the brackets that got broken when I got in the wreck I'm gonna put the HIDs on the limited and then what I think I'm going to do with these headlights is I think I'm going to convert them to dual halos front and rear with the demon eyes just like I did for the SR5, um, which are the ones I'm going to be moving to the Limited. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the housings over to um, 
LED front and rear halos, demon eyes, and instead of an HID conversion kit, I think I'm going to convert it to an LED conversion kit for the headlights to be LED. Maybe give that a try. It's a popular thing now. HIDs aren't popular anymore for some reason on these old uh, third gen 4Runners. Even though a year and a half, two years ago, they were extremely popular. Now everybody's switching them to LEDs. So I think I might do that. Um, so these ha housings that I just got from car parts, um, th I think I'm going to install them on the SR5, just do a different conversion. Um, I could be wrong though, that might not be what's in here, but I'm pretty sure it is because it's the only item I believe that I was waiting for from car parts. Um, but just a quick video. Um, you guys let, your, uh, let me know what you guys' guesses are below. If you, um, I could be wrong. If you believe it's something else, you guys let me know. You know, um, I believe this is a part, not tools, but and it's not very heavy either. But um, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I appreciate you guys. Excuse me. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Please like, comment, subscribe, smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links. My DJ Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And I'll see you guys on the next video and unboxing. See you guys later. Peace!